Leones, Medina, Southwest Ranches. Uh, previously, we had an issue with this carrier killer here. And actually, uh, uh, the actual diagnosis was uh, that it was not starting. did turn off right now. We're gonna find out the reason why. However, moving forward, in here we had a microprocessor board uh, that actually went bad. We were getting our 18 to 17 volts on the secondary side. When I did engage the on-off switch for the system to start, the unit will not start, uh, so after troubleshooting, we have concluded that the board itself was defective. This uh, actual um, tower here is a heat, heat sink, uh, which actually rejects the heat. We were missing a five volts, five millivolts from my understanding, so it was shorted uh, somewhere in the circuit board. So they did have a replacement from carrier uh, we did replace it because uh, one, we were not getting a display at the time. As of right now, we have a display. Uh, we do have an error code, which is awesome. Uh, now we can find out what's actually going on with the system so that we can go ahead and correct the problem. With the issue furthermore in depth, after installing the circuitry board, which is the microprocessor board, uh, I was getting an error code of 61, which error code 61 up here uh, on the actual schematic you can see cooler leaving and entering leaving water uh, which is actually for the water flow sensors um, and here just to show you you actually have a uh, valid resistance range uh, for your thermistors uh, but sometimes they are different because uh, new uh, thermistors they are their K ohms are totally different than the older ones so anyways after further diagnosing it uh, I checked up here on these thermistors to locate the 61 entering uh, code uh, for both the entering and leaving and I found that one of the thermistors were actually was not properly engaged uh, so it was causing a problem and causing the compressor to turn off and acting as if uh, it was limited to water flow. Uh, because right now I'm getting like 60, 60 PSI uh, water pressure. Um, the other circuit right now, I have this one completely off because that one is uh, that one was reading low, uh, low refrigerant, uh, which we actually have to uh, verify where our leak is at. But anyways, this is uh, this is the things that AC Power Comfort does, especially when it comes to chillers, uh, especially the old chillers. When it, when you have to find uh, manuals of some sort, uh, carrier tech support. Also, when you talk to the right people, they are very helpful. Uh, because again, I, as the owner of AC Power Comfort, I don't I don't claim to know everything. Um, uh, it would have been good if we had a manual. Now this chiller shut off, so we're gonna find out what, what's going on. Uh, but it was running for quite some time. Anyway, so uh, this is Omar with AC Power and Comfort. Uh, visit my website at www.acpowercomfort.com. Thank you for viewing.